For a lot of southeastern Manitoba farmers, the fall harvest is well underway. Recently, a very special wheat crop was taken off a field just a couple of miles south of St. Pierre Jolie. The proceeds from the sale of this crop will be donated to the Canadian Food Grains Bank. The organization, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year, is a partnership of 15 Canadian churches and church-based agencies working together to combat world hunger. Harold Penner is the resource coordinator of the Manitoba Division of the Canadian Food Grains Bank and says the concept of what his group does is really quite simple. Well, ordinary f farm folk, by and large, are involved in raising crops for the Canadian Food Grains Bank. So we have about 40 projects like this in Manitoba uh, where people just get together and grow a crop and sell it and the money is used then to buy food for people in need. Generous people donate some of their land or sometimes the group just rents land from someone and, uh, and businesses contribute seed, fertilizer, chemicals and people do their work for, for, for free, bring their machinery and volunteer their time and uh, expenses and uh, yeah, that's how it works. Jerry LaHaye farms the land in the St. Pierre area and is one of the local farmers involved in this particular project. He became interested in the Food Grains Bank after a trip to Mozambique eight years ago, where he personally witnessed the poverty and hunger that the organization is working to put an end to. My first impression is how, how hard they were willing to work for the little that they had. Uh, it, we say it's hot today, it was very hot over there, and yet these people were willing to, to um, to work very hard physically and yet because of the nature, uh, uh, the cycle of nature or just the year, uh, the, the crops didn't produce very much. And while Africa continues to be the recipient of much of the aid provided by the Food Grains Bank, recent world events have shifted the group's focus somewhat. Right now in recent times we've shipped uh, or we provided I should say about uh, over a million dollars worth in Syria. We all know the problems going on in Syria at this time. Last year we, we were worked in over 30 countries and uh, I think since the beginning of the Food Grains Bank we've worked in over 70 countries so far. So wherever there a need arises we like to get there and help. On average, the Canadian Food Grains Bank raises approximately $12 million a year across Canada through projects like the one in St. Pierre, which is matched by $25 million annually from the Canadian government. Producer Jerry LaHaye reflects on his six-year involvement with the group and the reasons behind his contribution. They want to eat just as much as, as, as we do, even though uh, we share, it's, it doesn't even show a notch on on, on our uh, on what we produce uh, it's very little and yet it goes so far over there